Hi. Today we're going to be doing a test of scream rockets. Now normally when you buy these scream rockets at the store, uh, it's just two in a package for around 10 bucks. And it comes with a small handheld slingshot type of thing that uh, you hook onto the rocket, pull back, and slingshot it into the air. Now, the reason they call them scream rockets is because it has a small hole right here in the nose cone. Uh, the small hole, when it flies through the air, uh, creates a whistling, screaming sound. So, instead of using the slingshot, I took a bar barbecue skewer and attached an Estes C6-7 rocket engine to each of the scream rockets. I figure if it screams when you slingshot it, what will it sound like when you fire it with an actual rocket engine? So uh, let's go. Let's go check it out. Got a uh, makeshift launch pad rocket holder here. And I'm going to attach the uh, rocket engine igniters to the clip. bobbing around so I've got to okay I think that's good all right let's test this baby out T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition. <laughs> well, that went pretty fast, but I didn't hear much of a scream. So, let's uh, test out the second one and see if it. Uh, does any better? If I can get these things clipped on here. T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition. Well, <laughs> okay, so not much not much of a scream not like i thought it was going to be but it was still pretty cool uh you can definitely use them for a bottle rocket however uh they go pretty wild 
Uh, so maybe, maybe the rocket only screams uh, at small slingshot speed um, because I didn't hear any screaming at all uh, as I had hoped I would hear uh, with the model rocket engine launches. Maybe it was too fast. Maybe it was too fast for it to uh, get a lot of air that it needed into the nose cone hole. Uh, so maybe maybe the slingshot way is the only way you're going to get these things to scream. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.